It is the man that refuses to quit. It is the man that refuses to put down his gloves that separates winners from one of these. I don't know what your dream is, but if you write it down and you put the work in, at some point, everything's going to begin to change. It is diligence and dedication and determination that separates the all-time greats from the one-hit wonders. Do you want to do this thing one time? Or do you want to be notorious for winning over and over and over again? I just want to know, is anybody listening that wants to do it again? I don't want to win one time. I don't want to be noticed one time. I don't want to make history one time. I want to do it over and over and over again. Do it again, no matter how hard it was. No matter how much you cried and you sweat and you bled, do it again. Show me your habits and I will show you your future. It is what we do habitually that determines the measure of significance that we get to live this life. There are protocols that must be in place. There are actions that must be taken. Not just thoughts that you must think, but words that you must speak and actions that must be taken. You are going somewhere. You are either going back or you are going forward. Everybody wants a comeback, but nobody wants a setback. You can't have a comeback without a setback. You may be on the basketball court. You may be on the football field. You may be down by 40 at halftime. It is the man that comes back round after round that may have taken a beating physically, but he is not broken mentally, that comes back round after round after round after round. If you're gonna do it, if you're gonna accomplish it, if you're gonna achieve it, even if you're confused and it's cold and it looks crazy, and you're gonna need to know the difference between contribution and commitment, because they're two very different things. See, everybody wants to contribute to destiny, but nobody wants to be committed to destiny. You wanna to contribute to the idea that you can be something. You wanna to contribute to the idea that something's gonna come of the sacrifice that you have made, but you have not sacrificed, you have not suffered, you are not committed. When you are committed, you give everything you have. Every single week, every single day, every single hour, every single minute. The reason why you didn't win is because you gave up too soon. You took the exit too quickly. And so this time it's got to be personal. And you may not feel qualified. You may not feel like you are educated enough. You may not feel like you're connected enough. You may not think that enough people are aware of you, cognizant of you, because you don't have a blue check and you're not a celebrity yet. But you got to work hard in silence. You got to work when nobody's watching. You got to sacrifice behind the scenes. Will you put in the work? Will you stay the course? Will you try it again? Are you willing to change perspective, to see this thing differently? To get to the place of optimal performance and significance and fulfillment, where every day you are looking for life, you have an expectation, you have a zeal, you've got a bold anticipation for the future. Your goals are posted on your wall. You commit privately and publicly to the call that's on your life. You think about it day and night. Whatever the goal is, it's time to shatter the ceiling above your head, to break records, to shatter the status quo, to punch through targets. It's your time. It's your turn. Everybody wants public authority, but nobody wants private discipline when your habits change behind the scenes, when your private life begins to shift, when you put aside the things that are not serving you, if you can make it personal, it's personal. It doesn't start with them and they. It starts with me. It starts with me. You've doubted yourself long enough. People have left you, overlooked you, undervalued you, underpaid you. It's your time to connect. It's your time 
to get paid. It's your time to sign the deal. It's your time. It's going to shift your identity. It's going to change you from the inside out. Those barriers, those hindrances, those disempowering thoughts. Who am I talking to? Just try it. Wake up. Wake up. It is time. Oh, my call and why I'm here. When I get dialed in, all of a sudden, stress, anxiety, overwhelm, anxiousness begins to tank. Confidence, clarity, momentum, energy, vitality goes up. I'm organized. I'm productive. I'm at peace. I'm motivated. I'm dedicated. I'm grooved. I'm conditioned. I'm ready to conquer the day. You are beating on your craft even when you're at work. You're dreaming. You're thinking. You're vision casting. You're writing it down, making it play, communicating to your destiny connections so that it can become a reality. If you can see it in your head, you can hold it in your hands. But the question I want to answer is, are you committed? I'm talking to every builder, every athlete, every professional, every stay-at-home mom, every father that puts in the work day and night to provide for his family. I don't know what your dream is, but if you write it down and you put the work in, at some point, everything's going to begin to change. I'm just wondering, can you conquer in the dark? See, I don't care what your goal is. It could be relationships. It could be to lose weight. It could be to make more money. It could be to become something nobody in your family has ever been. The moment that you destroy the door, the way out, in the room of your dream, that's when you make it happen. What you do while you are in pain will echo through the ages. Nobody cares until you make it happen. So you know one of your biggest problems is that you keep thinking that there is another you. And for me, I started to accomplish more than I ever have in my life when I realized that there's nobody that can do what I can do. You have to come to the resolve today, now, that you don't need anyone's permission to make your dream a reality. Burned out on the verge of dropout, but I need you to take a moment and garner up all the belief that you have left in yourself and in the idea of what is possible to make this thing happen. There is no one like you in all of the earth. There is no one that can do what you can do. You are the only option. You are the only play. Nobody else is 